Welcome back to Elden Ring. Let's explore Castle Morn. Try jumping. No hidden path ahead. Lever. That's a good one. That is a lever. Is there really no hidden path, though? Okay, yeah, there's actually no hidden path. <laughs> Ooh, message was appraised. Good luck. Thank you. Castle Morn. So what is going on here? Just a pile of bodies burning someone. They're all like... Yeah, they're all like... I don't know. Um... Doing like a rally cry or something. Like the bigger one is pumping them all up or guiding them. Maybe I should go for the big one first. Faces, though. Horrifying. I guess I'll go for the big one again, but with some arcs. Ah, one more. Okay, does that make them, I don't know, afraid or something? Because it seemed like they were doing the rallying cries. No. No, they're still just getting excited. Just like in a trance. Almost. Maybe they're worshipping like the fire or excited about the burning body more than it was the, the big one. Ah, oh, fuck. Let's just try to gather them all up, and then arc them. Maybe not the dogs, just yet. Come and get me up here, huh? Oh, they can jump too. <laughs> ah. Yeah, this is all bodies. This entire mound is bodies. Old Fang. What's new? Is that a crafting ingredient? Yes. Found by hunting carnivorous beasts. A rarely seen specimen of beast fang. These multiple overlapping fangs grow from a single root. Perhaps they're a vestige of the primordial crucible. Try defeating one by one.
Oh. Is that a giant? Do they have a cage around their head? Or is that their head itself? They got a big club. I think they're sleeping. It's like a... Metal pumpkin that they have on their head. Oh, it's just hitting the head and just going dunk, dunk, dunk. Can you aim it like the feet or something? That'd be great. Huh. All right, fine. I'm gonna whisk you. Whisked. Sanctuary stone. A rare piece of stone fragment found near places where ruins have fallen from the sky. It feeds and strengthens the light as it shines. Near where, where ruins have fallen from the sky. Something just died and gave me some souls. Ah! Almost died. Oh, no, don't die. Beware of left. Thank you. Well, still fighting going on up there. Treasure chest ahead. Claymore. Requires... Yeah, it's a bit of a strength weapon. Requires 16 strength. It's a great sword. Oh, look at all the spears go flying. By the way, don't try that in real life. You will get pierced in so many different ways and places. More free souls.
Okay, I'm getting the impression this is where I'm supposed to go. There's one little place that I didn't check. Yeah, back here where the giant was. Don't give up. Wait, where the hell did they come from? Shortcut ahead. Maybe this is the intended path, I don't know. Precious item ahead. Oh. Well, I've already been down there. Those have more developed wings. ladder ahead. Yeah, I have no idea what the main way is, or if there even is a main way. Like, where was the other way gonna lead? Grace ahead. Ah. Where do you go from there, though? Is there a way back up? I don't see a ladder. I don't know. Let's go get it, though. Need my health back. Need my potions back. I guess you have to fall down there. I can't use Torrent here, so I can't get any sort of double jump. Like with that, I could maybe get over this, but I can't. Necessary item ahead. Ooh, thank you for the tip. Stone Sword Key. Almost missed this.
Oh, there's a slime up there. I knew there'd be something. Always look up. Come on down. <laughs> Pickled turtleneck. Thank you. Hey! Old Kotcher. Help me. I'm of noble blood. If- oh, I skipped that. Anything but that, please. Think of the disgrace. Sorry, I- what did you say? I'm of noble blood. If those hideous mongrels eat me, I'll be forever marred. Anything but that, please. Think of the disgrace. Um... How do I help you? Can I break your cage? Hmm. I'm sorry, but I don't know how to help you. Maybe just by defeating the... I don't know, the boss of the castle or whatever? Wait, isn't the boss of the castle, like, the... Um... The person we met by the side of the road? Isn't it just their dad? Maybe I don't want to defeat them. I'm supposed to deliver them a letter. No item ahead. Try fire. How about whisking? Okay, no, 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 that's horrible actually. Most of it just misses. Yeah, no, that's horrible. Forget those. I want to jump down there, it's just I can't get back up if I do, so... Be wary of strong foe. Thank you. Ah! No, 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 don't do that! Ah! Oh, I didn't think that would reach. They got some reach on them. Treasure chest ahead. Treasure chest ahead. Twin blade talisman. Enhances final hit of chain attacks. Depicting a twin blade and a confessor. The twin blade technique is a tradition of the confessors who closely guard the secret of how they preserve the momentum of their attacks. Thus is the final strike of their onslaught all the more deadly. Well, it doesn't fit me, but sounds very cool. Yeah, the confessors were one of the starting um, classes. Actually, one of the ones that I was considering pretty strongly along with the astrologer. I swear, the sliding down the ladder sound is just as horrible as it's ever been in every single Dark Souls game, and I love that. Never change. Never change. From Soft. Hole required ahead. <laughs> I'm upvoting that. Spectral jellyfish.
Yeah, it gave me a couple potion uses back. Nice. Jumping ahead. Likely tree. Yes. You can never be sure, though. Need to be careful here. Wish I had some cotton. I can't craft that, can I? I mean, it is a craftable, but I don't have a recipe for it. other creatures. Probably more. Let's go for Ark. <laughs> that thing didn't even get up. Oh, it looks like it's cowering in fear. Is it afraid of the rats? Iron Cleaver? That's what they use. If only I had a lover. <laughs> the whip! <laughs> okay. I'm gonna upvote that. That's good. Seek critical hit. Someone wants to be whipped. I mean, I kind of want to. Um, right. This is kind of a strength weapon. Fairly large iron cleaver, commonly used by the maltreated misbegotten. Steeped in resentment, these weapons are swung wildly and relentlessly, often after rushing up to foes. Hey, the skill is wild strikes. I want to see what that looks like. Well, let's also, I guess, check out the whip at the same time. That's a dex weapon, as I guess you'd expect. A leather whip, not originally used for combat, but as an instrument of pain. Though its supple attacks cannot be thwarted by parrying, or even guarding, it's incapable of dealing critical hits. Hmm. Can't be parried or guarded. That's a very interesting. That's very interesting. I could give it a very niche use. Yeah, I want to see what that looks like, too. Well, let's try this first. No, stop switching. Wow, the light attack is just like... Well, it's relentless. Just through, through, the exact same attack. Until that final one. It's like an attack combo of... One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, the fifth one is the one that's different. The final attack of that, like, chain. And let's do strong attack. Oh, the strong attack actually moves you forwards. Yeah, this is so this is a very aggressive weapon, which really fits with what the description was saying. It is all about just pounding on the enemy and moving forwards and just rushing into them. Let's do the special now. Oh, no, I have to double hand it. Oh, that's really cool. Visually, I like that more than, than whisking, although whisking's funnier. Does it, um, I didn't look. Does it cause any bleeding? No, no passive effects. But yeah, that wild strikes is, oh, I like that. Can I wield this 
with it being two-handed, I have 13 strength. Yeah, if it's two-handed, I can wield it properly. So it's not going to have a huge damage penalty. Which means I can't actually test it properly on an enemy. Anyone? Anyone out here? Still no item. Still no invisible wall. Really starting to think they're just not in this game. Sending gate ahead. You're calling a sight of grace a sending gate? Let's rest. And actually, I might be able to level up. Mm, not yet. Need a couple more thousand. But yeah, let me see if I can pull one of these enemies. Yeah, it's a bit of a slow attack. You run up to the enemy, but then you, there's a big pause before you actually hit. So the timing on that's a bit tricky. Let's try it again. I'm trying to get the critical hit on them, but I don't know where to do it. It didn't seem to work on the front or the back. How did I attract the back one first? It must have been more angled towards me. Let's do the, like, wild strikes. God, I love that, though. Let's compare it to whisking. Mm. Well, I don't think whisking works amazingly on something so small because I think a lot of the hits miss. That's better. This was definitely doing more damage with its wild strikes. But it also doesn't cause bleeding, and bleeding does massive damage when it procs. Let's try the whip now. That's a quick attack. Strong attack. Ooh, it's like a... Yeah, kind of like a wide arc in front of you. Jumping attack. And what was the special again? Oh right, it's kick. <laughs> was I too far away, or is the rat just... Oh no, I was just too far away. I just kicked a rat, it did three damage, and the rat was very slightly annoyed. Let's see how it would work on the group if I do the strong attack. Yeah, definitely pretty good at groups. I am in love with the wild strikes of the Iron Cleaver, but not enough to like switch over to being a strength build or or to want to go from my lovely whisks. God, I do wish this scaled better with dex though. Like, my bonus damage for my decks is not that much, it's just plus 26. But it is unupgraded. Mm, 
Well, speaking of, why don't I go try to upgrade it? Wait, can I can I teleport out? So I'm kind of in a dungeon. But it looks like it's going to let me. Yeah, it's fine. Let's give it a plus one. That's all I can do. I feel like I have better smithing stones. Like, way better smithing stones. I just need to... Like, is there a way to break them down into their constituent parts? I feel like that might have been a thing in one of the other games. Right? Like, I have all these smithing stones 2 and smithing stones 5. Can I break you down into smithing stone 1s? I haven't found anyone who sells smithing stones either. Right. Back here. Whoa. That's definitely a boss. Almost whisk them to death. Ooh. Is that a bigger one with wings? Or is that also one of the small ones? It kind of looks big. Yeah, I definitely want the archer first. Oh no, that's one of the small ones. Oh no! Go have fun with the jellyfish. Item ahead. Likely something. They weren't lying. Somber smithing stone. Why is it always dog? Death ahead. That's very true. I see no reason to kill these. Precious item ahead, and then be wary of crab. Why is it always crab? Giant crab. <laughs> Where's the giant? Is it gonna come out of the ground? Yep. Raise the door. Door? Fire arrows. Lovable sort. Praise the wraith. Yeah, I mean, I like these jellyfish. They don't try to kill me. Seek underground tomb. <laughs> Item ahead, uh-huh. Sure.
Try a wolf. Try octopus. Try summoning. Good luck. Leonine Misbegotten. Wow, that hurt. They got some moves, but they are taking a lot of damage from my magic. You just need a little bit of dodging, that's not too bad. Grafted Blade Greatsword. I got an achievement for killing them. Hope that wasn't who I was supposed to deliver the letter to. Weak foe. I mean, they're not weak. Like, if I had to do that all melee, I'm sure that'd be quite a bit more difficult. Well done. Mourn Moangro- <laughs> Bleh. Moangrave. I was trying to say something between, like, mangrove, and then I saw it was moan, so I was like... Moangrove? <laughs> no, Moangrave. We can get a level up. Should I go for intelligence? Let's go for intelligence. I guess this was an optional boss, probably. Praise the here, except time for Elden Ring. Tranquility. Beautiful. Lake ahead. <laughs> I'm gonna leave a message. Tree. That's a good one. I can't wait to see all the likes roll in. They dropped the Grafted Blade Greatsword. It's a colossal sword. The storied sword of Castle Morn, a revenger's weapon. It's burdened with oceans of anger and regret. 
one of the legendary armaments. A lone surviving champion from a country now vanished was so determined to continue fighting that he claimed the swords of an entire clan of warriors. Unique skill is Oath of Vengeance. Swear an oath upon the greatsword to avenge the clan, temporarily raising all attributes for a certain duration. While the oath's effects are active, poise will also be increased. It requires 40 strength and it weighs 21. Jesus. I want to see what this thing looks like. <laughs> God, that's big. What a nasty thing. Let's do the oath. Yeah, it doesn't really work. Going back to the main part of the castle, we have a lot more to explore here. Okay, I don't think they'll follow me up here. Can you climb ladders? They can climb ladders. That's fine, I can knock them off. Come to the top if you want to get whisking. What the hell? Okay. Okay, this is bad. Knock it off, you two. Anyone else coming? There's another one at the bottom that's confused. But no, it's not coming for me. Accidentally added a marker to the map. Boop. That's cool that it doesn't just completely disappear right away, but kind of like blinks out of existence slowly. Item ahead. Type of torch? Steel wire torch. Has higher requirements. Instead of 5-5, five, five, it needs 10 strength, 8 dex. Does more damage. Oh, and instead of torch attack as the special, it does fire breather. So yeah, it's a better torch in terms of like damage. I, I don't know about light. Also scales better with decks. A torch wound with metal wire. The flame can illuminate dark locales or be used to attack enemies. Heavier than a normal torch, but the heated filament boosts fire damage dealt. I just want to see this fire breath. I'm a dragon, rawr! <laughs> That's so cool! Dead end ahead. Pickle! Okay, we've already been down there. But there's some pathways there we haven't been to.
right, where were we? We've not been down there, no. Yeah, originally I fell off the back there. That's where I went, that's where the Site of Grace was. But I haven't been down over there or down here. Try jumping. No rushing in ahead. Okay, so... Slow. Or do they mean like no one else is going to try to attack me ahead? I'm not sure because I don't see any other enemies. Ah, yep. That was a very good tip. Let's try down here. They can fight it out. Let's see what's back here. Nothing at all. Are you the person I need to deliver the letter to? I hope so, because I literally don't know where else to go. Ah, uh, there's a face I've not seen before. I'm Edgar, warden of this castle, as ordained by Lord Godric himself. But you can see how things have turned out. The menials have all rebelled. They gave me good service, or so I thought. But it seems it was all an act. Foul creatures, as it said, and true enough, they're foul inside and out. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but whatever you come here to do, I'm afraid Castle Morn won't hold much longer. Take this, by way of apology. I think that um, is equivalent to a ring of whatever it's called. The thing that basically will break upon death, but will save your runes. All right, let's give them Arena's letter. I see. From Arena. Thank you. I mean, you're dead. But I can't leave yet. Even if the castle should fall, as commander, I must remain to ensure the treasured Sword of Morn does not fall into the wrong hands. Do you mean the sword that I just got from the boss? Or is there another sword? If you see Arena, do tell her. Uh, her father will come for her once he's fulfilled his duty. If you see her, uh, her father will come for her. Because I don't think there's anywhere else to go for me here. Seek armament. Yeah, I know. I want the armament. I I'm just like, I'm pretty. Sh <laughs> I'm not sure if the armament that I got is the one. I 
I don't know where else to go in here. I think this is... Wait. Hold on. Oh, no. Never mind. I thought I saw a new place. Yeah, I don't know where else to go in here, so... Uh, I guess I'll go back to Arena. Tell him. Oh, no! Did they die? <gasps> She's dead. Oh, no! I'm in your debt for keeping the sword from those fallen creatures. I'm no longer bound by duty. Once I've rescued Arena, I will spend my remaining days with her. Um, yeah, about that. Thanks to you, I will be reunited with Arena. No, you won't. I devote my remaining days to her. Arena has a gentle nature, though. I only hope it remains intact. Was there any way to prevent Arena's death? Now they're thanking me, so... I guess I did get the sword and that's all there is. I don't know, I expected there to be more to this place. Ah, now that I've come back, now they're here, at the body. Greena, how could this be? My daughter deserved better. The fault lies with me. I chose duty over my daughter's safety. And that is how fate has answered. I'll find them. The foul wretch is responsible for this. I'll hunt them down and exterminate every last one of them. Rest assured, Arena, it will be done. I'll find them. The foul wretch. I'll hunt. I feel like I should give them the sword. The sword of revenge. Feels very fitting for them. Just dumped some stuff off in the chest, so my inventory is a little bit easier to manage. Also, I realized my intelligence is 23, and I actually have a spell that requires 23 intelligence. I totally forgot about it. But yeah, this crystal burst is terrible, so we can just replace that with Ambush Shard. Strikes from behind with projectile fired from distance. Let's go try it out. I would like to use a spell... I. I do want a spell that's, like, different or better than what I currently have. I mean, I've been playing the entire game with the two starter spells, and so far everything else has been inferior. So I'd love to have a third spell. So yeah, strike from behind. So that is probably intended for when you're on horseback and the enemy's chasing you, isn't it? That's a very niche use, but that will definitely come in handy for something. Like, let's try it. So if I try to use it in front of me, unlike this enemy, it's gonna do nothing, right? Oh, wait, what? Oh, it strikes the enemy from behind. It doesn't shoot behind me, it strikes the enemy from behind. It shoots behind me if there's no enemy selected. <gasps> what? I didn't have it targeted! Why did you just kill that poor defenseless animal? I did not have it targeted. It seems to have a mind of its own. Um. What's the range on this freaking thing? Let's try it on another enemy. I'm so sorry for all the wildlife I'm gonna accidentally kill. Okay, you're really far away. Okay, so if I'm not in range, then it shoots just behind me? Yeah, if you're not in range, it just shoots behind you. But it goes behind the enemy. Meaning, it'll avoid their shields. That is so good! And the range also seems... Is it greater than the others? I wanted to say it was, but actually I'm not sure. Like, from here. That doesn't quite reach. 
And that does. So yeah, the range is greater. And what? Whoa. And what about damage? So it doesn't matter which way I'm facing, right? I could be... Oh. Okay, if the enemy's moving, I might miss. But anyway, it did what? 136? 136. Compared to... Hundred and seventy nine. So it does a significantly less damage, but But it can avoid their shield, which you know, if I'm avoiding their shield, then it's gonna do way more damage compared to just bonking into their shield, which will block most of the other attacks. So that's not gonna be my mainstay attack, but for sure that will be useful. Oh, I'm out of FP. Whoops. But yeah, that's a very interesting and, like, situationally useful spell. Well, I think this is a good place to end the episode. Hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return, we're going to go to the other place where we're supposed to go, finally, Stormgate.